What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ray905 coming at you from Thorndale Crescent. Uh, Sunday, February 3rd. I had like four midterms last week, but uh, everything went well. I want to give you all my thanks for all the love, all the comments, likes, and subscriptions on my YouTube channel the past week. I really appreciate it. So let's get my day started. First things first, some hygiene. What? What? What's this round patch of hair loss? I don't know what caused this bald spot. I'm really worried by this. I've never had anything like this before. I think I should see a doctor. Hi there, uh, Ray? Yeah. Nice How to you meet you. Nice to meet you, Doc. How are you doing today, Ray? I'm good. Um, so the reason I'm here is mm -hmm. actually, uh, I noticed kind of a bald spot kind of forming in my beard. It's a small circular patch of well, a hairless patch. Yeah, I see that. So, okay. I don't know what's going on. Have you been taking any medications? Nothing, no, Nothing I, don't, I don't take anything. Um, no. Interesting. Why don't you tell me about your week? Well, I'm actually a student at McMaster, and mm -hmm. last week I had a bunch of midterms. I see. Just staying up late, right. drinking Red Bull, and just kind of stressed out, to be honest. Sure, yeah. So it's hard. <laughs> um, so when did this hair loss start? Was it sudden? Um, have you been noticing it over some time? I think it started maybe two months ago, but it actually started off as a smaller hairless patch, and only after a while it started to progress and get larger. Okay. So. And is it only in that one spot? Is it localized, or have you been noticing hair fall over other parts of your body as well? Right now it's just in my beard. Interesting. Okay. So based on your symptoms, I think you have alopecia areta. Uh, so alopecia is an autoimmune disorder um, that causes hair loss. The reasons are not quite sure as of yet. Areta is when it's localized. Totalis is when you lose hair over your scalp, which is not happening. And universalis, alopecia universalis, is when you lose hair all over your body, which is also not happening. Uh, but the good thing is that your hair can grow back, and I recommend that you see a trichologist as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you, Doc. No problem. Have a great day. What's going on, YouTube? So I just left Dr. G's office and uh, it turns out I have alopecia areata. So I got an appointment now with Dr. Verma. Let's see what she's saying. She's a trichologist. Hi, you must be Ray. Yeah. Hi. I'm Dr. Verma. How are you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I was just going over your files from Dr. G's office. Um, it looks like you were diagnosed with alopecia areata. Do you have any questions about that? Um, I'm just kind of concerned because it's nothing I've ever dealt with before. Yeah, I get you. So like the good news is it's not anything serious, it's nothing to worry about because this is a type of alopecia that can actually be treated, so that's good. Um, it's basically classified as an autoimmune disease. So what that means is that your body's immune system is attacking its own hair follicles and that's what's causing your hair to fall out. But to take a closer look at what's going on, let's go over to the hair cycle and show you what's going on. So this is the growth cycle right here. There are three stages to this growth cycle, antigen, catagen, and telogen. Antigen is the first phase. This is the active growth, cy growth site of the cycle. Um, that means that your hair is going to grow to its maximal length while it's an antigen. Catagen is the intermediate phase. Here is where the hair detaches from the dermal papilla and it rests there until it goes into telogen. Telogen is when your hair basically rises up to the top of the dermis and then it falls out. So in alopecia, what's happening is your site of the hair follicle is losing immune privilege. So what that means is um, it's more, it's less tolerant to antigens. So with the immune response, there's inflammation at this site here, and there's two main T cells you need to remember. So there's CD8 plus and CD4 plus. So these are what's causing all this inflammation at the, the base of the follicle. And with that inflammation, it's pushing the hair growth cycle from antigen straight to telogen. 
So what that means is your hair isn't getting the chance to grow to its full length, it's just falling out right away. But the good news is, um, this type of alopecia doesn't actually damage your hair cells, the inflammation doesn't damage the sites, which means with proper therapy, you can gain your hair back. That's good to hear. So Dr. Verma, now I understand the hair growth cycle, but where do we go from here? So what I'd suggest is, because you've only been experiencing these symptoms for a short amount of time, I'd say you wait it out, gauge things out, give it a little more time, um, book an appointment before you leave for a reassessment next week, and when you come back, we'll see how things are going with you, and then we'll discuss treatment plans from there. Okay. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ray905. Uh, it's a month later from the, when I initially went to the doctors, and uh, the doctors uh, give me treatment plan options such as the use of corticosteroids, and other treatments but actually due to the alopecia varying from patient to patient and the, the lack of consistency seen throughout um, I actually didn't use any of those treatment options and I found it better to try and reduce the stressors and the negative energy from my life and it's actually worked and helped me recover without the, the use of any other treatments but obviously alopecia varies from person to person so you should definitely see your doctor if you think you're suffering from the symptoms of alopecia but I just want to implore you guys to view it as a holistic disease and try and pinpoint the causes of stress and negative energy and eliminate those and hopefully you'll see results. What's going on YouTube? Ray905 with the final message for you. So if you like my journey and uh, you want to know more information about alopecia and you just want to follow me in the future just uh, hit the subscribe button down below and leave a like and a comment. I appreciate the